To start with React.js, we are not going to actually create React application or use CDN. We will start with a simple HTML file. So I'm going to create a simple HTML file called index.html here. And inside this, I will quickly create a simple markup and call this title as a React Tutorial. And then uh, let's uh, use its uh, original path and go to the browser and run this file. So at the top you can see we have this react tutorial this means this file is working. Now what I will do first I will going to create a simple div and giving this div an id of root. After that I'm going to create a script tag and in this script tag I'm going to use a simple vanilla javascript. So first let root element is document dot get element by id and our id name is root done now with this what we can have we can have the root element so let's log root and see what it is so if i open the console and in the console if i refresh this page you can see we are directly getting this uh, div tag but next what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new element and I just call el and I will say document dot create element and this element is simple h1 tag. So let's log el and see what it is. So if I refresh, you can see it's a, just a plain h1 tag with no content in it let's fill something inside it so to fill we just need to say el dot inner text is equal to react by sarthak or bitfumes let's now save this file and go to browser refresh this page and this time we have that text inside this h1 tag now next task is to move this h1 into our root element how we can do that then we need to say root dot append child and appending this el you know this el is actually a dom node what it is it is a dom node and you can only append a dom node via this append child function if you want to learn more about this append child you can just search for append child and you will get this mozilla documentation for javascript and this time you can see it says node.append child and this accept a child and a child should be a node to append to the parent node so both has to be node and by doing this document dot create element and we are getting some node of the document or the DOM. Next, because we have done this, let's see what will be the result. Go to the browser and refresh this page. And yes, you can see we are having that H1 tag in our div. We can inspect this and we can easily see that our div is actually holding this h1 tag and it is very similar to having a simple h1 inside div like we have manually added it from here like this but not we are using javascript to add this h1 tag inside this div so this is very easy but what if I want to add some ID or let's say class into this h1 tag. For that we need to say el dot class name is equal to plus equal to and let's say red and then if I refresh you can see now we have a class called red on this h1 tag. 
For now, this is okay to have just one attribute as a class. Imagine you want to have various attribute and you want to do lots of things with this EL, the element we have created. It's now become very, very difficult to manage things. So to solve these problem and also to solve main various other problems you may face later in the JavaScript using vanilla JavaScript, we will move into the React library. So I always recommend everyone to learn any language by going to the documentation of that particular library, framework or any language. So we are on a react.js.org. This is the official website of react.js. Now we are going to hit on the get started. Okay, to get started, we have various things. You can just play around the React using the code pen and code sandbox and other webs, other places. But I'm going to use the add React to website. And you can just go at the bottom and we have the next article for add React to website or on the right side you can see we have a add react to website and we have here so three places are just to move to the this page here it says if you want to add the react chase in your website you just need two script tag one is for react this one and other is for react dom so react is just for the javascript but to manipulate the DOM, the document object model or HTML, you can say, we need the React DOM. So let's copy these two. And I will going to paste it in our head tag of HTML file. Okay, so we have done that. And now if I try to refresh, nothing happens here because now I'm going to use React to create element. Then I'm going to use the React DOM to append the child. Let's see how we can do these things. So just instead of document.createElement, we can simply say React.createElement. And I'm not going to do anything because I want to show you that what EL is. Initially, when we have used the document like this, we have the simple h1 tag. So if I refresh, you can see we have a simple h1 tag. But when I used react.createElement, refresh this page, we have something object kind of thing here. We have some type of, then key, prop, ref, type. Hmm, this makes sense, type is h1. Cool, so this means the type of element is h1. But how we can add this h1 into our DOM? Because now you can see our div is again empty. It doesn't have anything. Remember, we also have React DOM. So instead of root.append child, let's say React and remember to use DOM as a capital. So React DOM then append child. And I'm going to comment this log and also move this above. Okay, let's see what's the result. Refresh this page and we are having some error. Now this react dom dot append child is not a function. Okay, so actually there is a little difference. Instead of using append child, we need to use the render method. Now let's try once more. So refresh this page now it says target container is not a DOM element. Okay, so we are having some difficulty with the render method. Let's try to go into the documentation. As I said, documentation is the king. So here we have a simple starter code. So if I open this starter code, you can see this starter code is actually having react.createElement and moving it as a E, then it is not having any DOM, render DOM. So let's move ahead. Okay, so here we have a React DOM. 
direct dom dot render hold actually two things one is the element we have created so remember e and here they have used react dot create element as e so we can use e and whatever we want to create so just like we have created this h1 so they have created some like button so first is the element you have created and second is the target where you want to put this newly created element okay so i got the point this dom and this is not dom node <laughs> this react dom actually need two things one is the first one is the new element and second is the target or target element you can say so first is the element we are having this we have created this and the target is this root so let's say root and now if i go and try to refresh this page hmm, still we cannot see anything but let's go to elements and here inside this element you can see we have a div and inside this div we have a h1 tag why not put something inside this h1 tag but how we can add something inside the h1 tag do we need to have the el dot inner text no you can see the vs code is not recommending anything for that actually when you are using react dot create element yes the first one is the type but we have some other argument also to check what this have i'm just going to log the react dot create element so we will get the function as it is and this function need three things or first is type second is prop and third is children children is the thing we need to put something inside the h1 tag so what i'm going to do i'm going to say second is null because i don't know what is uh, this prop means we will see what it is later but for now we don't know anything about the prop but the third is react by bitfilms and doing this what we are getting let's see what we are getting if i say el refresh one thing you can see we are having this h1 react by bitfumes and this time we are having a type as h1 but where is children children is inside prop but we have not given any prop okay so we will see these things this weird things later but for now we can see the h1 is holding react by bitfumes so congratulations we have successfully migrated from vanilla javascript to react and it is very very smooth now we can do some refactoring we can have like this so we can remove it and we just have two line to have our react js started